Thank you so much for taking the time out of your day to watch this brief video. There's a lot of other things you could be doing, so thanks so much for carving out the time uh, to watch this uh, brief video. Uh, you probably heard by now in our announcement that we're not having in-person gatherings today. Uh, also, we won't be doing that next Sunday as well. And uh, the reason for that is there's been an uptick in cases in our community. And more specifically, uh, Eric Thompson uh, has COVID-19. Uh, I talked with Eric just before I recorded this, and so he's doing okay, but would still request our church to pray for his full recovery. So please continue to pray for Eric and his family. And so as we talk within the leadership of the church, we thought it best, the most wise course of action to suspend in-person gatherings for the next two weeks. And so Lord willing, as soon as we can, as we think it best, we'll, we'll get back in this uh, place in the Family Life Center. We'll keep you posted about that. It's been so great, uh, such a blessing from the Lord to have this facility, this space uh, for the past couple of months, actually over two months now. It's hard to believe we've been meeting out here. And so we want to be back here as soon as possible, but, but using wisdom and caution uh, to get here. So we'll keep you posted about that. Now, what I want to do today is share a, a verse of Scripture. It's not a sermon by any stretch. Uh, I want to share a very familiar verse, remind you of a truth in Psalm 23. Psalm 23, verse 4, David said, Even though I walk through the valley of the shadow of death, I will fear no evil, because you are with me. Your rod and your staff, they comfort me. Now, my favorite time of the year is right now. Uh, I know that may, may be hard to believe with all the heat. Man, it's been so hot. But this is my favorite time of the year because uh, there's so much daylight. I love it when we've got long, you know, long days. You can do so much more outside. Now, some of you may be, oddly enough, like it when it gets dark early. I'm just kidding. I know some people like that. That's fine if you like uh, when it gets dark early and you like those longer nights. But for me... Uh, the summertime when we've got as much light as possible. That's my favorite time of the year. But regardless if you, if you like long days or long nights, all of us would agree, I think, that when life itself gets dark, it's really hard. We've all had those times in our lives. Maybe you're going through one right now when we're walking through a valley. And it's not any old valley. It's a very dark valley. And David speaks about that in Psalm 23, verse 4, as he talks about God shepherding him. Uh, David, who was, was a shepherd and knew what made for good shepherding, what made for bad shepherding, as he reflects on that, he reflects about the reality that, that the Lord is his personal shepherd. And because the Lord is his personal shepherd, he talks about some of the ways that shows up in his life. Uh, for example, he says, as you remember, he makes me lie down in green pastures. He leads me beside still or quiet waters. He restores my soul. He guides me in the paths of righteousness for his name's sake. And so he's talking about how God, as he looks back over his life, how God gently, lovingly, consistently provides and guides him as, as a child of God. But in verse 4, the verse that we're thinking about today, in verse 4, there's a shift. I wonder if you've ever noticed it in your Bible. We're very familiar with Psalm 23, but have you ever noticed that in Psalm 23, verse 4, David shifts from talking about God to talking to God? Up to this point, the first three verses, he's been talking about God, who God is and what God does. But in verse 4, he says, Even though I walk through the valley of the shadow of death, I will fear no evil because you are with me. He's no longer talking about God. He's talking directly to God. The other shift that happens in verse 4 is that David now is talking about trouble for the first time, at least explicitly in verse 4. It's the first mention of the valley of the shadow of death or this dark valley, and he mentions the very presence of evil. Even though I walk through the valley of the shadow of death or the darkest of valleys, I will fear no evil. And so this reminds us that even as a child of God, we're going to face evil, dark, difficult times. It'd be great if we never had to walk through a dark valley, but sadly, because we live in a fallen world, we do and we will. And so as David thinks about approaching the valley of the shadow of death, remembering that God's always leading him, God's always shepherding him, even in these dark times, David reminds himself as he prays to the Lord, he reminds himself of the Lord's presence. Even though I walk through the valley of the shadow of death, I will fear no evil 
because you are with me. David isn't manning up here. He says, I'm not going to fear evil because I'm, I'm strong or I've got this figured out. I've got all this under control. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to build up my own courage. No, none of that at all. David says, the reason I can say I will fear no evil is because you are with me. You're with me. If this was the only place in the Bible where we had a promise of the Lord's presence as he shepherds us as his own people, if this was the only place in the Bible where he had a promise about the Lord's presence, even in dark valleys, that'd be all we would need because God never breaks his word. And so he's promised that the presence, his presence to continually be with David, his presence is with us. But we know that there, there are so many other promises in Scripture about the Lord's presence about the Lord's presence with his people, even in dark times. So think, for example, of Isaiah 41, where God says, Fear not, for I am with you. Be not dismayed, for I am your God. I will strengthen you, I will help you, I will uphold you with my righteous right hand. Think about what Jesus said in Matthew 28, as he gave his disciples the Great Commission, uh, going into all the world and making disciples. At the end of that, he says, And lo, behold, I am with you always even to the end of the age. And so if, if you're walking in a valley, a dark valley, dark times in your life, remember, uh, remember that it's not permanent. David says, even though I walk through the valley of the shadow of death, God leads us, God is leading us, and sometimes his leadership is leading us into a dark place, but it's not to keep us there. He leads us through the valley of the shadow of death. Also remember today that the Lord is present with you. He has promised his presence. He'll never leave you nor forsake you if you are a Christian. And finally, as David does here, turn your dark times not into a pep talk, but into a prayer walk. We're not pepping ourselves up, reminding ourselves of the Lord's presence, trying to, trying to encourage our own selves about a reality of, of an absence of evil. Instead, we're turning this into a prayer walk, reminding ourselves of the reality of the presence of God in our lives. And so this week, I want, I want you to leave with that. I want you to lead out this week with that, that thought that the Lord is with you, even in dark times. May the Lord bless you and keep you. May he cause his face to shine upon you and be gracious to you. May he lift the light of his countenance upon you and grant you his peace. Hope you have a great week in the Lord. God bless you.